Hey there guys, welcome to my channel. I know I'm seven days late, but I'm finally taking a look at VMR Workstation Pro 16 and it's quite of uh, an upgrade if I gotta say so myself. So basically, it does support the X11 now and OpenGL 4.1, which is a big jump. That's like amazing actually. And it does support containering now. So if you want to build, run, pull, push container images using VCTL, you can now, which is amazing. Uh, that, that's something that's been missing and, you know, containering and VMs, they, they go hand in hand. So, you know, th that's a must and it's very nice to see that they finally implemented that. Not only that, they have a bunch of no supported operating systems that range from the usual Red Hat, Debian, Fedora stuff to like the brand new ESXi 7.0, which I'm also going to take a look later on down the line. And uh, well, um, the big thing here though, which I find uh, the most, uh, the coolest feature by far is that now you can run 8 gigs of VRAM for your VM. So essentially, let's say you're running... Um, you're running Linux, but you need to run a specific software that for, I don't know, 3D modeling or stuff that is very VRAM intensive. And then you cannot run on Linux, so you need Windows for that. And then you can now run your VM without GPU pester. You just get, you know, it just shares your VRAM. And that's like massive 8 gigs. So it, it, it makes it so you don't need stuff like KVM anymore for like very intensive applications that would need a lot of VRAM. So you could just run it within your system with VMware Workstation, which is quite a jump compared to, I think it was like three or four gigabytes before. So now you can dedicate up to eight and that's insane. That's actually insane. And it does support uh, USB 3.1 now. So up, up to 10 gigs a second, which is also pretty, pretty crazy. I mean, geez. I mean, you get VRAM, like a lot of VRAM. Now I can finally mess around and try like Linux gaming, who knows, uh, <laughs> you know, and uh, faster USB as well, which doesn't really serve me, but it does serve a lot of people, you know, with their fancy um, external SSDs and stuff and they're kind of, you know, but yeah. So it has vSphere 7.0 support as well, which, you know, we all saw coming. It's not like it's, um, <laughs> it's not like it's a new thing per se, because it always came out with the previous ones, but now it's the 7.0. So if you want to run the latest, you're going to need that. So yeah, and it enables 3D support for Intel cards on Linux to deliver the Excel. Uh, 10.1 and OpenGL 3.3 using Vulkan. That's pretty cool. So you have sandbox graphics, which holy cow, that's amazing. And now the most important thing, which I I think is actually the coolest of them all, like better than the VRAM, better than everything that they got implemented, which is support to the 2004 no uh, WSL integration, which basically converts your PC into a Hyper-V virtual machine running on top of Hyper-V. So without WSL, your computer is essentially just you know, your computer. And then once you install WSL, it becomes a virtual machine on top of Hyper-V. So, so that you can run other stuff within it. So basically it's virtualized on top of Hyper-V, so your computer becomes a hypervisor, a type one hypervisor. And now apparently a workstation supports that. So even if you have that installed, cause back in the day, if you had Hyper-V installed, it means you wouldn't be able to run any other hypervisor. It would not work because essentially your machine becomes a virtual machine, but VMware somehow they managed to make it so you can run workstation within Hyper-V and it just works. That's that, that's quite an amazing fe feature, which was also holding me back back in the day on 15.5 because I didn't want to uh, get WSL 2.0 to try out and see what it does with the Linux integration and stuff because I was afraid of not being able to use VMware anymore, which is my main tool for most of this stuff. 
So I was wondering, uh, you know, should I really do that? Should I really get WSL and, you know, not be able to use Workstation anymore? Because that's kind of, that kind of sucks, you know, essentially. Uh, it's the best uh, hypervisor, type 2 hypervisor that we got out there in terms of how stable it is and the usability and the features it brings to the table and everything. And now you can finally run the MUF. So if you want to have your computer uh, on Hyper-V, essentially transforming it into a virtual machine, you can finally run Workstation on top of that, no problem, which I find impressive. I never thought they could do that back in the day that would be just like oh we suddenly cannot run in a virtual machine that's that that is what it is but uh as like you know wsl became basically essential so people would be like bro i'm just not gonna use workstation anymore because i i need that integration it's pretty cool to run linux within windows and share the same ram and same you know it's a pretty cool concept but then again you would be missing out on vmware and now you don't miss out on that anymore and uh, well uh visually it doesn't really differ that much from 15.5 and 15 it's essentially the same workstation that we know and love that we've been using for so long it, it kept like the same you know interface that that we were used to so essentially on the visual side it's the same thing it's just more on the technical side of things which are uh the, the key elements anyway so the uh vram which now you can dedicate up to eight gigs of vram which i'm trying out right now with fedora so english please there you go english united states continue so that's a pretty cool feature i gotta say so i can finally uh try and mess around with maybe gaming and stuff on linux which I never imagined I would do because back in the day if I wanted to do that I would need to do a book and now I can dedicate my entire VRAM and stuff so that's pretty, pretty nuts. Uh, by far one of the most uh, interesting features but uh, yeah overall it's a uh, it, it's a very very um, interesting and um, considerable upgrade if you are on 15.5 because of the X11 and you know the um, WSL support, 2004 update support, which essentially makes it work. Even even if you have Hyper-V, which, holy cow, that's, that's nuts. I, I've never imagined that, and they somehow managed it. Because it's been an issue for so long. Like, I remember when WSL came out, the 2.0, and I read, oh, it requires that you, you like uh, install Hyper-V, I mean, brah, come on, I don't want to install Hyper-V because that would mean no workstation, and no workstation means no fun and now apparently they can live together just fine they can finally, you know, share the same computer, the same environment peacefully, that's amazing so, yeah, kudos to VMware for pulling that off and uh, it's a yes for me, honestly. I would say it's a very, very worthwhile upgrade. And you should definitely go for it. Mainly if you're dealing with stuff that requires a lot of VRAM. So <laughs> being able to dedicate up to 8 gigs is absolutely insane. I mean, it more than double it. And that's, that's like by far the thing that I just, when it, when, when I saw it, I was like, no way, bro. No way they did that. Finally, I'm upgrading right away. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just upgrading. And, uh, well, as said before, it's just an overview. It's not a review, so don't expect me to dig that deep. Even so, because, you know, it's workstation. You know workstation. Nobody does. It's not, you know, there's nothing new here in terms of, you know, what the software itself does it's more so on the feature side on the technical side of things but essentially there you know interface wise it's the same it's the same that we know so you know i could like record a tour and show things around it's basically the same i mean if you know 15 if you know 15.5 if you know 14 and so on it's basically essentially the same thing that we're all known uh we all know very well and we love 
and we praise and uh, so yeah that's basically it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions comment sections right down below feel free to leave your feedback i appreciate that feel free to like and dislike if you wish and subscribe it's up to you i don't really you know but yeah y'all have a nice day or night stay safe wear masks and uh, adios <laughs>